Hello there, my name is Sanjay. Um, welcome to my home. Um, just to let you know, I'm the chef patron of a restaurant called Zaika on, uh, in London. Uh, and one of the dishes which I'm cooking today is currently on my menu, uh, which is going to be uh, some mashed potatoes uh, with some mustard and some garlic and served with some, uh, some beautiful piece of cod over here. Okay, the first thing what we need to do for this dish is to take some nice waxy potatoes, uh, cut them into four. This recipe is for four people. So all you do is try to cut them at the even size, not too small and not too big. And then put it back on the heat. And most important thing is to take a clove of garlic, depending on if you love garlic, I mean, I love using garlic. Um, and the recipe, if you want to have a look at the recipe, is at lovepotatoes.co.uk. Uh, some salt. Always cook potatoes from cold water. Never from a hot water, especially for this dish as well. Okay. So while I'm waiting for the potatoes to get cooked, I'm going to prep my fish. Um, you can use fish, you can use chicken, whatever is your favorite, whatever you have in your fridge. Mashed potatoes just about goes with anything, you know? Um, so the tail piece is too small, so I'm gonna to try to cut them in the same size. Make sure there's no bones, there's none. I mean, this is the stomach side. You can use this for a stock, if you wish. Um, two, three, and four. Take a small amount of salt. Some pepper, some French mustard. You just need a small amount of that. It's just gonna dab it around. It gives a bit more nice flavor. And now there are two ways you can cook this fish now. You can put it in the steamer as it is. And if you haven't got a steamer, a very good way. Take your cod, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna poach it. Right, so it's been 20 minutes, and the potatoes are just cooked. You can use a masher, I love using a mouli, because you get a nice smoother mash. So I think that should be enough. Put this over here. Right, so, see it's nice and dry. Small amount of salt. Some mustard. While I'm waiting for this mash, what I'm gonna do is get my boiling pan of water. And dip in my cod. Okay. Put it back on the heat. It should take about two to three minutes, no more than that. So let's prepare a mash. So all I've done is so far is added a bit of mustard, some butter. Again, the amount of butter is entirely up to you. I love using butter. Um, a small amount of milk. It can be substituted with cream. Again, it's indulgence. You want to keep it nice and healthy. A bit of butter and milk is perfect. Okay, so the my mash is ready. I'm gonna get my fish out. Okay, be very careful. And what we do is we take one of these out. Beautiful. I mean, the reason I have wrapped it in cling film is because I want to retain all the flavor of the cod as well. If I just put it in the bang in a pan, all the flavor is gonna run out as well. Little tip, if you want to add a bit of pasta to it, beautiful. Any herbs any growing up in your garden? Take that very carefully. So a bit of mash. 
in the center. And very gently put that on there. Today I'm serving this with some peas. Go. What I'm doing also is, or what I'm going to be doing is some olive oil, some nice cherry tomatoes, some chives, passes, good, something soft herb, dill is great. And then you can put it on top. And voila. Here we go is some cod, which has been served with some garlic mashed potatoes and with some tomatoes and some chives on top. For the recipe, go to lovepotatoes.co.uk. Loads of other recipes there. Enjoy. It's only 10 minutes it'll take you to cook this dish.